Momentous Building family, welcome back. Today we are starting a demolition of a new master bathroom. Really exciting. I want to show you how the demo is going through and talk about some of the details here. As always, please give us a like, share, and subscribe if you like seeing some of these projects, how the construction is done, the tips and tricks behind it, and how we take care of our clients to get the best possible product. All right, so what do we want to talk about today? Today we want to talk a little bit about controlled demolition and what clean demolition is all about. So many times on HGTV you see guys with sledgehammers, breaking walls, glass, this, that, and the other. The reality is that makes a huge mess and it creates so much more work. Controlled demolition is really tearing up a place with big sheets of drywall coming off, two by fours in, intact, not having glass all over the place. We want to minimize the cleanup because yeah, it's fun to break stuff, but then we got to bend over and pick it all up. It also makes for a terrible living condition if the clients are at the house, living there, children, whatsoever. So the way we tackle these things is that we make sure our demolition is as clean as possible and you get to do fun stuff like have all your lumber and drywall stacked up nice and neat like this. Now it's a lot easier to go down two flights of stairs when you're carrying four by four sheets of drywall or a little bit smaller, but having those baby little pieces in a mess, it's a disaster. Another thing that you see over here is that we have demolition trash bags. Demolition trash bags are phenomenal because what they allow you to do is carry all your debris. Maybe there's some tile bits, maybe there's these little tiny pieces, but they allow you to put them into bags. These bags don't rip. And for 30 bucks to have basically a 10 yards worth of debris taken out of your space, and you could sling these things over your back and they'd be 40, 50 pounds, they don't rip whatsoever. They're amazing. So those are two tricks and tips that if you guys are doing demolition, you really want to make your life easier. It doesn't actually take longer. Taking everything off the walls and taking down might be longer, but what happens when you only have to sweep for dust when you're done? You're not with shovels or any of those things. So that's kind of the stuff that we think about as being the experts in construction, and we want to share with you guys. Now, of course, let's stop all this chat and go into the actual business show the space of what we're currently doing. All right, so another clean job, what we have going on here, the entire floor is completely protected. We have drop cloths double layered going through the floors, up the stairs here, through the doors, into the master bedroom, so that way we can get to the master bathroom. Now we're doing this because we have one day demolition. This isn't a long-term job, so cleanup is only five or 10 minutes, and you know, setting up is five or 10 minutes rather than this being a two, three hour event just to put RAM board down or paper down these other things. Plus, this provides amazing protection. So I wanna show you something cool with our construction sites. We have these QR scanner codes here because we implemented a few systems that allows our guys to check these boxes off, gives them to an online form, it's photos, everything in there, super streamlined, keep the communication flowing between us as the managers, the laborers, and the clients, and that way, they're getting a smooth process. So, big one for technology. So, we're in the space right now, the construction zone, really exciting. Let's just take a look at these stacked pieces of studs that are against the wall, the lumber. See how neat and nice everything is. This wasn't done with sledgehammers. This wasn't done with cutting everything up with sawzalls and going crazy and all that stuff. This was done surgically. It was done clean. And this allows us to provide a better condition for the homeowners. And now how do you do this? Well, let's, let's be real. First, you gotta start breaking out at the bottom and then you start breaking the studs out at the top or vice versa. And you go piece by piece by piece. Same thing with the drywall. You actually wanna cut the drywall into small squares, say two by two or three by twos, and allows you to pull it off the wall. And you don't wanna just rip it off the wall. You wanna shimmy it off the wall so that way it breaks the nails, the screws or the nails free and you get it off in the big sheets. Continuous sweeping and cleaning is the name of the game in order to keep this space nice and clean. All right, so that's how you guys do demolition when you have two homeowners that both work from home on calls right now. Actually, the homeowner has been making calls all day. It's her job. So she's been able to do that virtually undisturbed so she can still make money, provide a living for her family. And it's really exciting to be able to deliver such a product like that where we can go in there and do the right job and we're not disturbing people's lives because at the end of the day, we are in people's homes. And that's the most crucial thing to always remember that we're in people's safe places, the places that they wanna to come to relax. Our job shouldn't be to tear it apart. As crazy as construction gets, 
there's always a way to make it a good experience for the homeowner and that is our mission. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Patrick Robertson at Momentous Building. We'll catch you on the next one.